Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're gonna to be working here in my laundry room. I just got back from the chiropractor's appointment. I sat down and I reminded myself, Michelle, you really need to get up and work on that laundry room. So here I am. So let me grab the camera and I'm gonna show you what I've got going on in here. So this right here is my wire shelves. I keep a lot of our um, pantry stuff in here. It's the back product of our pantry stuff. I also keep cleaners and um, you know extra things like that. So I need to get this um, organized, cleaned off. I need to check the expiration um, dates on those cans and that food up there and just get this organized again. It's been quite a while since I've come in here and give this um, washing machine a deep clean. So I wanna do that. I wanna come in here and get all this cleaned up let me show you down here. Look at that. See all those spills down here? I want to get all that cleaned up here in the drawer. It just catches right in this. I also need to clean out and organize in the bottom of this drawer here. And here in the dryer, I need to get in here and clean out the, the vent. That's starting to get pretty caked up in there. So I want to get that cleaned out too. Now, as you see, this is the dryer one. I'm sure there's lint down in there that needs to be vacuumed out and cleaned up. Then I need to get this organized again. I'm not tall enough to put those things up there, so we need to have a talk with the people who are putting things up there because I don't like that look. I need to refill these containers with the exception of this one. Um, have you looked at the cost at Scent Boosters? I stopped buying it because it has gotten so expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away underneath the, um, the cabinet. And then um, when they decide to go down on their price, I'll be buying some more to fill that. The litter box needs to be changed, but thankfully my husband does that. So I'll be waiting for him to do that. But I will vacuum up all the kitty litter that gets out when Jenny walks out of there. She gets kitty litter on her feet and tracks it on my floor. The only thing I won't be doing today is cleaning out the refrigerator. That's gonna be a big job in its own, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait to do that. So do you hear how quiet my dryer drawer is? Wait till you listen to what my washing machine drawer sounds like. Yeah, I'm gonna to try to fix that. right here um, one of them is out of date and the rest of them are getting close to being out of date so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the pantry two more things I'm gonna go put in the other pantry We have this soap on subscription because we like it so much, but if you don't keep an eye on it, you'll end up with all this. We don't need all this. So I need to be sure that I'm checking it and um, I need to go in and fix it so that it's not coming every three months, obviously, because I have too many. So I need to do that through my Amazon app. I 
also have quite a few of these. This goes in the washing, under the washing machine. Let's put these here. And obviously, I have too much Folex. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So this is a roll of a large piece of cotton. You see this? It's about that thick. And I use this to crochet little um, blankets that I used in the photography studio. And this is what I have left. So I need to figure out what crafter would like this. So I'm gonna take pictures of it and then stick it on um, Facebook Marketplace and see if there's anybody who would like this. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, so I may have started this project too late in the day. As you can see, the lighting is terrible in here. So I'm going to come back tomorrow and I'll be working on this room. However, I'm going to go ahead and put these into the washing machine. That way they'll be good and clean for tomorrow. All right, so for tonight's dinner, I am making shrimp fajitas wrapped in lettuce. This is a low-carb sheet pan recipe, and it turned out delicious. So first, I'm going to go ahead and thaw out my shrimp in some cool water. On the street, I'm losing my way. You've got into me, and that's my mistake. Some might say. If you're new to my channel, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Michelle, and I started my channel to encourage women to reclaim the peace in their lives through setting up routines. I break down cleaning routines into simple habits that has me spending less time cleaning and more time with my kids and my grandkids. I have a goal to double my subscribers in the next couple of months, and I hope that you will help me reach my goal by clicking that subscribe button. When you are in my home, you are considered a friend.
laundry room and I'm ready to get this thing done. So before I complete these shelves, I'm gonna go ahead and get the vent out of the dryer because I need to have that soaking for a little bit. I also wanna go ahead and wash the cat's dish bowls. So let's get into the kitchen and let's get that done. All right, so after I'm finished vacuuming, I'm gonna sit down on the floor and I'm gonna to try to figure out what's going on with that drawer. Now it's been doing it since we bought the product, so I don't think that the drawer's put in there correctly. Um, I'm gonna end up getting Madeline on the phone and she's gonna to try to help me diagnose what's going on.
side have that screw too? Yeah, right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the diagnosis of the drawer is that I cannot get the drawer out. Um, the plastic does lift out, however, it requires a special screw um, driver in order to um, unscrew it so that I can pull that out and figure out what's going on. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning the drawer and then get all my products back in there. Um, and then so at some point I need my husband to come and really help me figure this out because the noise is driving me crazy. And as you can see, like in my pantry, I have those sensor lights. So that's why um, the light keeps going off. I'm down here on the ground and it's not sensing me. So anyways, that's why you see the light going on and off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back underneath the drawer. Now, I know it looks like I have a bunch of heavy products in this drawer, and that might be why it's causing that um, sound. However, the bottom of the drawer says that it holds up to 50 pounds, so I don't think this equals 50 pounds. Anyway. Are you guys getting ready for spring cleaning? I'm getting my spring cleaning list together. I wanna to go ahead and tackle some of my usual areas like reapplying the sealer to my granite, but I'm also gonna be adding in some things that I haven't tackled before. I don't do the typical spring cleaning tasks because most of those are added into my weekly zone cleanings, but I rather do more of a maintenance type work around my house. Anyways, you don't want to miss any of it, so be sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get reminded when I post. I try to forget the way my table is set and run for the bed instead.
see if this works. My ingenious way of doing this. So I folded, I folded the edge earlier and I ironed it right mm -hmm. to the sleeve. Mm -hmm. So I butted that up to the hem or to where the gathering is on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. So it'll cover it. And then on the inside, I left it long and then where I sew down, I'll just turn that extra off, yeah. is what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So, let's see if that works. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> I've been looking for sitting on top of the refrigerator. What the heck, you Becky?
All right, so I found some extra batteries in the cabinet that was above the refrigerator, and I'm going to go ahead and stick them here in my battery um, little caddy. I absolutely love this thing. I hang mine on the wall, but you can put it in a drawer or, you know, anything like that. But this thing is great. Just put your batteries in there and, you know, um, you're not having to worry about all those little trays that hold the batteries when you get them in the store. All right, so I'm going to get in this basket and I'm going to go ahead and um, clean out and organize the things that go to all of my vacuums. Um, there's a lot of replacement parts in here, um, so that way when I do maintenance on my vacuums, I have all those replacement parts. And then I'm going to get rid of the stuff I no longer need. this new tool to add to my cleaning tools there and it's flat as you can tell you can put it underneath your couch your washer your dryer your refrigerator um, I'm gonna use it here underneath these shelves um, to get up there and get all that dust and fur that way I don't have to move those shelves out um, this thing is bendable as you can see so if you you know need to bend it underneath something or so um, anyways, I tried it underneath my refrigerator. It worked great. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it here in the laundry room.
about time we stop pretending yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to continue this game of Tetris, and I want to organize these things in the best way possible that makes sense to the products that I have. You take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah All right, so I know I've already washed down the washer and the dryer, but I like to go back in and shine it right back up.
Okay, so I'm going to be using my microfiber cloth in here, but before I go in there and I wet that cloth, I'm going to go ahead and um, pre-treat some of the spots that I see in here. I like to do this. It, it gives it time for um, the product to work and lift up that spot. So here's my microfiber dry, and here it is wet. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the um, pole, and we're going to get to mopping in here. Friends, I want to thank you for encouraging one another down in my comments. It means the world to me to see y'all lifting each other up or chatting about something you saw me do or heard me say. I read every single one of your comments and so far I've been able to respond to every one of you. Many of you I consider dear enough friends that my daughters know you by name and they ask how you're doing. I thank you for taking time to watch my videos each week. I know that there are hundreds in my niche that you could be spending your valuable time watching, but you bless me and you come here every week. I appreciate you and I hope that you feel it. I will see you again next Monday. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. To what I have to say, a minute of your time, that's all I want, then I'm out of your way.